Hi, it's Lee from Jaw Physio. Now, a lot of my clients have problems with swallowing tablets, and we know that that can be related to a dysfunction of your swallow muscles, or mostly what the dentists are telling me is a very strong gag reflex. So if you find you easily gag, you'll probably know that you can't gargle and you can't swallow tablets very well. So you can do some simple things of changing your head tilt more towards a little bit down rather than up when we take tablets. We often teach children to go up. That actually kinks your, um, uh, your pipes through your throat. So actually just tucking down a bit and holding the water, a, a small amount of water, not a large amount of water in your mouth, and that can help you swallow. To help swallow, you can just practice by gargling. From about the age of eight onwards, we start to have mastery over gargling. So be careful with children that they don't breathe in water when you're practicing because it can go into their lungs um, and they can choke and aspirate. So practicing with children first would be blowing bubbles in the bath and holding water just in their mouth before they swallow and then eventually getting them to gargle in a neutral position first uh, before you decided to teach them the head tilt. Same with adults who are having problems with swallowing. You can start with gargling in a neutral head position with a small amount of water and just practice dipping the back of your tongue into a little cup shape before you start gargling and gently gargling and that might help reduce all that excess tone in your throat and make it easier to swallow. It's also obviously related to your vagus nerve. If you've just got mild dysfunction, the gargling will help with that tone and help with your reflex in your, in your um, throat muscles. But if you've actually had some surgery and they've nicked a lesion in your pharyngeal nerve branch off the vagus nerve, you're obviously going to see a speech pathologist or a vocal cord therapist um, or your ENTs and sometimes all three. So very important to make sure that your vagus nerve is assessed properly. And we, there's so much information on the internet about deep breathing exercises. I, I advocate strongly for dampening down your, your vagus nerve and calming exercises. And the deep breathing exercise I advocate is breathing in through your nose for 10, hold that air for 10, and then breathe out through a large round open mouth for 10. Better to do it lying down because you can feel quite dizzy when you do those kind of breathing exercises. Do not do them in the bath. Do not do them whilst you're driving in the car. And it is very normal to feel pins and needles tingly, dizzy, a little bit strange when you do your deep breathing exercises. So very important if you can't swallow tablets, start with some gentle gargling regularly just before you brush your teeth because the Clients with a big strong gag reflex will find it very hard to even put the toothbrush in their mouth. And then if you're still struggling, we're needing to check in with your dentist or your ENT to see if there is an airway restriction. The dentist will be able to tell you about that, whether you've got a high palate arch and you need to see a dentist with sleep medicine training. Um, you might have restrictive airways from severe rhinuritis, hay fever. Um, eating very bad foods, lots of sugar, you have inflammation um, all through your mucous membranes. There's many different reasons why you can have an airway restriction. Might be a deviated septum, might be turbinites, you'll see an ENT for all of that sort of stuff. So there are other things you can do to assess, but there's the very gentle stuff to start off with before you rush around to see everyone else. Hope that helps.